fun. I hope you have fun. So, again, I'm welcome to one and all here. Today, we are going to do some experiments based on the lesson sound. So, there are two types of sound. One is a pleasant sound and unpleasant sound. Unpleasant sound is called as a noise. But today, we are going to make uh, today we are going to make some noise or today we are going to make some pleasant sound from some musical instruments. So, first uh, uh, there is a keyboard here. It also produces some sounds. It vibrates from the keys. So, now I call Adwait to play it and explain it how the piano works. So this is the guitar. There are some strings over here which produce the which it vibrates and it produces so many different sounds. And here we can see some uh, we can see some uh, keys here. It uh, when we tighten it or when we lose it, it the strings get rigid and loose. Then if strings get rigid and loose, it produces some different sound. Such as one string, one string make different sound, other string make different sound due to its ductileness, it's malleable. So, uh, I, I want to show some tone on this guitar. <laughs> all the musical instruments which are used by musicians for entertainment and etc. Now going forward to the sports. Are musical instruments also been used in sports? Answer is yes. So here is one musical instrument named drum. We use it in the mass drill. Now I call Samar Pata to show how the drum is played in the mass drill. instrument is a small drum. So, I uh, go in the flashback, we have seen some big drum. What is between, uh, what is difference between this? Because the vibrating body, there is a change in vibrating body that has a big vibrating body and it has a small vibrating body. So, the sound is uh, different between those. So, now I call Kesha to please play the small drum. <laughs> So it is a metal body which is used uh, for uh, which is used uh, the teachers use it for uh, teaching the students. So now I call upon Samar Teda to play it. Thank you so much for playing Legend. So now let's understand the mechanism about it. You can see there are some small metallic rings. Here are these metallic rings, when we, when we say change it, the, when we change it the motion or when we do the motion, these metallic rings move and it get touched or it hits the metallic, the metallic rod. So it vibrates and produces such a sound, such a pleasant sound. So now talking 
what the difference between the small drum and the big drum so you can see here the big drum has a large vibrating surface whereas the small drum has only some small when the big drum produces a high amplitude sound the small uh, the small drum produces the high frequency sound so this is the difference between these both so here we complete our uh, new the sound lesson project i hope you enjoyed this thank you and all